We're going fishing. It's a Sunday. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. And we're going to go chase some whiting for a couple of hours. There we go. We've got some fresh squid there for bait. Um, yeah, pretty much it. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Just like that. Alrighty. Track it, eh? It's Monday, so there shouldn't be many people out. There's a couple of yaks in a boat. Um, but yeah. Went out yesterday, had a crack in the boat. Not much luck, there was too, way too many boats on the water. It was an unreal day for it yesterday, but we only ended up doing a couple of hours. Um, ended up hooking a seal, trying to get a kingfish on a live flathead. Probably not the ideal way to do it, but that's what, what the attempt was at the time. So, And now we're going to go try and catch a whiting. Whiting and squid. And it's not come back. Fresh petals. Very fresh, like fresh, whole systems fresh. As you see, I've got the uh, the foot holdery bits back on since it's fresh. Um, only thing that's old is the fins. Big thanks to Rod Bennings for sorting us out for that, because that's bloody amazing. Perfect livey size, which he looks like he is. That's a perfect livey. Please don't shoot too much ink. How about that? I like little man. I'll just chuck that one out there. We'll rig this sucker up. Double hook through there. Livey, in case we come across a king. Which he's just going to sit at the back somewhere. Look at that for a nice livey. And we should just be able to do, say, yeah, he's alive. We're all good. We'll just dangle him out the side somewhere. Look at that pike. You just bloody follow me thing. <laughs> oh, don't eat me squid. He deserves more than you. Good thing is, I don't think he did. I'm trying to find a uh, nice big sand patch that I can just go through, but I can't. I see the bottom at the moment. It's a bit annoying. So we're just having a flick until we drift across something. I think over there looks alright though. I might head over there. I've got some marks, so I might just head to one of them. <coughs> you guys probably can't see, but with my sunglasses, there's a nice bit of a sand patch there. And it sort of goes up a little bit, I think. Well, I don't know if that's one I want to fish. I think I want to fish back a little bit more. I mean, it just seems a bit small, whereas I just went over a really nice, big, long stretch. Um, so to do that, I'll have to go around my rod. There is one out further there too that I can see, but I don't know if I want to be out that far yet. <laughs> All right, so this is a big squid flap from what Dad caught. Uh, must have been about a week ago now. Oh, that was only half a week ago. But yeah, so we're just gonna use this. This is whiting bait. What we do is we cut them up into little strips so they look like a little worm type thing. I like a longish, thin one, you know. Like that. Like that. 
and we've got our, the smallest sinker we could find because you don't need much when whiting fishing down here but sometimes I do go a little bit bigger just to get a bigger sand cloud when I lift I'll show you in a minute what I mean um, but what we do is one hook through like that and that's your little squid worm bait and now we can see sand fast just there so we're going to go out that side there I mean there is some out that side but I can't see because of the sun oh, probably a bit much but oh well and so that gets down to the ground of about three, three and a half And so when you lift up and down to feel the bottom, that's what I think it's most effective anyway, because the sinker comes up, lands down, makes a little sand cloud, disturbs a bit of the bottom, fish come over, have a look, and have an eat. Because why well, wouldn't you? To the surface in Port Phillip Bay, I'd see, I think yeah. you, you were with Why didn't all other jump? Really right. chewing hard, we're chucking everything. As soon as bait hit the water, it was on. Yeah, that was like anyway. So, so in those situations, and they're so hard to predict, I think you just... They're yeah, here now. Maybe. I just Honestly, picked that up and put it back down. Me, oh, I'm listening to a podcast. Sorry about that. Those particular times of the deep drop that we were just talking about whiting. They want to know if anyone's caught them on surface. Ow. Come here, you bastard. Nice. Oh, you bastard! Oh, no. Oh, you still wouldn't have even seen that. I just noticed that the camera was facing upwards and I had a whiting. I was holding him to show you, and he. Ah, you prick of a thing. God damn it. He didn't really go that far, though, so hopefully we can get another one. That's not fair. Oh, not fair at all. God damn it! <laughs> That's right, they're here, so hopefully we can get another one relatively quickly. Too much stuff going on. Could be a little school here though. God damn it. Catch and release on the first one, isn't that what they do? <laughs> Rookie mistake. That feels heavy. What the hell is that? Caught a friggin' banjo. In the lighting setup. Not ideal, mate. Get out of here. Little 10 pound. Little banjo. Hang on, mate. I just want the bloody. Ah, you prick. Now, I like to throw these guys as far as I can so then they're not. Annoying me. And he's aiming back the other way. He's coming back this way. Doesn't matter what I do. Spot some of these Little bloody grassy, eh? Fresh that you can go back to it's not what I was after. Or I'm, I'm a real sucker for... It's, oh, this is weird because we've put shit on fly fishermen for a few times throughout this, this, this podcast. Ads. Well, yeah, and listen, we probably will again in future episodes. But I love... But it's a start. I caught and released on purpose. Uh, fly fishing, but I Whereas last one I just caught and accidentally yeah, dropped him off the edge. Yeah, production. <laughs> Could have a nice squid on here. Very nice. We were actually heading in, but... We've found some nice ground here that we wanted to work. And that's got some good weight on it. A lot better than the last one. So this could be a 30 plus centimeter hood, which would be real nice. Yeah, that's a good one.
probably not quite, might be just 30 on the hood, but he's a good one. He's a good one. <laughs> and we're gonna get him in the net. But he's not gonna see coming. Well, he might. Oh, I've nearly knocked him on the head. He might shoot us here. Oh, he's a good one. That's a real nice squidly. That's a cracker for here. <laughs> now, what I wanna do is just get that straight back out because sometimes I've got some on the back of them. And he was out about there-ish. He's a good squid, check that out. We're just gonna cruise around that spot again, I think. All right, that'll do it. Got a couple of nice, well, one nice squid. That one's a bit doozy, but good for a little bait. 